OK. Let me go through this real quick. Thank you. OK. okay. So um, what we have is I just want to go through a quick little review, because we did skip over the section. Um, but I'll just do a quick little review for you guys if you want to be able to find the two points. So let's say you're given a coordinate grid. On that coordinate grid, you're given two points. And I'm not going to make this. Let's do negative 2, 1. And then let's find another point, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 1, 2, 3. So let's do 5, 3. All right? So ladies and gentlemen, if I said, if I said find the distance between these two points, Right? The shortest distance between two points is a direct line. Okay? So that means I want you to find the distance between these two points. All right? So what we're going to do, though, is there's two different points. We could say this is x and y, and this is x and y. Right? <laughs> but sometimes it gets a little confusing because I say, hey, what's x? You could say, uh, well, there's two x's up there. So what we like to do is we like to differentiate them and put little subscripts. Okay, doesn't change. It's just saying, hey, this is x1, this is x2, right? Okay, so now what we want to do is we still need to be able to figure out the distance. Now, what we need to do is we need to go back to what Destin remembers from geometry class. And the important thing from geometry class is um, Pythagorean theorem. And that's what we're going to use to find our distance, all right? Because we know to find this distance, if I create a right triangle, that means I can create a horizontal line and then a vertical line. Okay? Got it? I can find a horizontal and a vertical line that will create a right triangle. By creating a right triangle, I can now use the Pythagorean theorem, Viori, to create or to find this distance. So the first thing, though, is I need to find what is this distance. And what is that distance? So this distance, you guys got to look at it. What we essentially did is we went from negative 2 all the way to 5. Now, you guys could just add that up and say it's 7, right? But what you're really doing is taking your x2 minus your x1, which is 5 minus a negative 2, which we know equals 7. So we could say this distance is equal to 7. To find this distance, you're starting at 1 and going up to 3. You guys could say, oh, I only went up 2, right? But the other way you could do this is say it's really the difference between the y2 and y1. So now what we have is I'm just going to redraw this triangle. So now I have a distance of 7 and a distance of 2. Now, knowing these two values, can I find this distance? Yes. So what we say is this distance, obviously, you guys could say it's going to be the square root of 51. Right? OK. But what we're going to do is say, so this distance, which we'll call d, this distance squared uh, 53. Um, well, that's 49. 50, oh, that's 4. You're right, 53. Thank you. Um, remember, Pythagorean theorem states that a squared plus b squared equals c squared. Or leg squared plus leg squared equals hypotenuse squared, right? So we look at what's my one leg squared. Well, the one leg squared was 7, but how did we get that? We said x2 minus x1. So you could say x2 minus x, I'm sorry, not x squared, x2 minus x1 squared plus the other leg, which was y2 minus y1 squared equals c squared or what we're going to call our distance squared, because that's the distance between the two points. Then if I actually just want to find out what d is, I square both sides. And therefore, the distance formula is the square root of x2 minus x1 squared plus y2 minus y1 squared equals d. OK? Quick little review. Does that help? Reminder?